Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Today we bring you the voices of the Canadian Solar Industry Association's Solar West Conference. Even though Alberta offers very little in the way of support for solar energy, there's a real buzz about the future of solar energy in Alberta. Today we talk to Diana McQueen, Alberta's Environment and Sustainable Resource Development Minister, and a number of folks in the business about the future of solar in Alberta. Some provinces have all the luck. Not only does Alberta have plentiful fossil fuel resources, but it turns out that Alberta's solar resources are world class as well. Just how good? Well, let's let folks attending the recent Canadian Solar Industry Association Solar West trade show tell you. Well, the solar resource we have in Alberta is quite phenomenal in a sense. It's one of the best in Canada, if not the best. Alberta has a wonderful solar resource. Tremendous solar resource. It's extremely compelling. Uh, solar resource in Alberta is huge. Alberta and Saskatchewan have some of the best and the best solar resource in Canada. It's something like 12 times more than all the coal, oil and gas and bitumen energy resources that we use in a year. So it's absolutely stunningly huge. Not only uh, is Alberta rich from a, an oil, uh, traditional energy uh, resource perspective, but also has a monopoly on the best solar resource in Canada. In fact, a recent study released by CanSIA lays out just how good Alberta's solar resources are. This map shows the maximum daily solar resource for Alberta. Compared to Ontario, both Edmonton and Calgary have a better solar resource. In fact, Toronto just barely edges out Fort McMurray in northern Alberta. When you compare Alberta to the place with the most solar development in the world, Germany, it's not even close. How does Alberta take advantage of and develop its solar resources? Engineer Gordon Howell sums it up best. I look to other energy sources and see how we've organized ourselves to use those resources, like coal, oil, gas and bitumen. So we've had policies that have facilitated it, opened up the, ba uh, opened up the doors, reduced the barriers. We've actually had subsidies for all the coal, oil, gas and bitumen industries to help them get going. And so when I look at how that has been successfully uh, organized to help us use coal, oil and gas, then I say that's what we need for solar energy also. We need policies that facilitate it, remove barriers, uh, provide leadership saying, hey guys, this is the way we want the province to go. We need some minor subsidies, incentives to help people and industries and commercial places and uh, municipalities to start utilizing it so that people will become uh, familiar with it. Alberta's just dipping its toe into solar with just under 500 solar systems that add up to just over one and a half megawatts. This compares to 500 megawatts of solar already installed in Ontario. While Alberta's just getting started, John Gorman of Cansia is excited about the possibilities. We're seeing a lot of grassroots activity uh, with municipalities, individuals, entrepreneurs, uh, utilities building projects. We're seeing real grassroots movement. But what is promising about uh, Premier Redford's latest announcement is that the province is going to be introducing a framework to direct all of that grassroots entrepreneurial uh, approach that Albertans show in almost everything they do to make Alberta the Canadian and global leader in solar resource development. Premier Redford's Minister of the Environment and Sustainable Resource Development, Diana McQueen, gave the keynote speech at the solar event. We caught up with her afterwards. It was very exciting. It was really exciting to be able to come into the room and to, to have conversations before and then after um, when I presented. But really, it is some excitement. People know that the renewable energies are a very important part of our energy strategy. Uh, Premier Redford has talked about that as well. When we look at Aostra II and the potential, not just for oil sands, but throughout the province, and we look at the potential for all forms of energy in this province, um, they're outstanding. And so Alberta is rich in many energy forms. Renewable, um, solar, certainly play a huge role for us. As Gordon Howell explained, to really kickstart the industry, support is required. Time will tell if Alberta will take action and work with its entrepreneurs to exploit the best solar resource in Canada. Proponents argue that a thriving solar industry is more than possible and that it would not only diversify Alberta's energy industry, it would diversify the province's reputation as well. To learn more about Alberta's solar scene, head on down to Green Energy Futures. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. I'm David Dodge.